Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. I hope you can hear me and you can see me. Uh, welcome to our FB Live session today with BSBI. I'm just going to wait a few minutes before I start. Uh, so please bear with me. But if you're out there, welcome. Lovely to have you. Get your questions ready and we will be taking them shortly. I hope everyone can hear me and see me. Hi everyone, I'm not sure who's out there, uh, but if you are, welcome to our Facebook Live session today. Uh, I'm just going to wait a few more minutes to see if any more people are going to join us and then I will get going. Hi Bazi, welcome, nice to have you. Thank you for being here with us today. Okay, we have a few more people joining in, which is great. I'm just going to wait a couple of more minutes. So, Bazi, whoever else is out there, if you want to say hi, that would be great. Thank you, Bazi. That's very sweet of you. I wish, you know, I could just say, okay, my FB live session is done because you've paid me such a lovely compliment. But I think you're talking about BSBI in general, and we appreciate um, your kind words. So thank you. You should next time bring your friends with you so that they can also listen to us. Anyone else out there, if you want to put a hi, like Bazi did in the chat box, that would be great so that I know you by name. Um, and then in a little bit, I'll let you know how you can write in to me. So just if you want to say hi, that would be great.
All right. So just to be sensitive to everyone who's here. Hi, uh, Josue. I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, thank you for being here with us today. Welcome. So lovely to have you. Before we start, I think we should go ahead and get started uh, because it's been five minutes already. Um, just to introduce myself, my name is Sangeeta George and I am the Senior Manager for the Student Support Services at BSBI. So what my team does is once you've decided that you're going to join us, which is a very, very exciting decision and a smart decision to be making, then we will help you through the entire application or the student journey process. So whether it's you looking for a visa or you're looking for accommodation or just wanting to know more about Berlin or any of our other campuses, then we're more than happy to help you and assist you. I will be sharing uh, an email address uh, that you can write directly into me so that I can pick up your queries and send it out to my team so that they can get in touch with you immediately and let you know or help support you in whatever way that you want, okay? So once again, thank you so much for being here, whoever's out there. Thank you. Please get your questions ready. What I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be talking about one of our campuses really quickly and then I will take any kind of questions that you might have. Uh, if I don't have a response for you, you can be sure that I will email you and send you the response or the answer that you need to your query. All right. So welcome. the Berlin School of Business and Innovation or BS and we conduct our programs on our campus there but in order to give our students an intercultural learning experience we're giving students an option to start either in Paris or in Athens for a year and then move on to our campus in Berlin now through the BSBI campus series or these Facebook live sessions that I have been doing uh, I have talked about study options in Hamburg. We've talked about study options in Paris. And so today, I'm just going to be focusing on uh, what a potential student such as yourself, how and what you need to do in order to start your educational journey with us in Athens, which is in Greece. Now, what I want to do is talk a little bit about Athens in general um, and also why Greece is an ideal option in terms of affordability and then of course some of the benefits of doing one year either in Paris or Athens and then moving on to Berlin. And then once I'm done with that, I'm very happy to take any kind of questions you might have about studying your, uh, in Athens or just in general about studying with us in BSBI. Okay, so just to touch upon Athens, as you might know, it's a very culturally rich city. So for all of you history buffs who are out there, this is a really great learning opportunity, not only in the classroom, but also outside. So if you visit Athens today, you'll see it very, very present in a lot of the architecture that's still there. So there's many sites that people can visit, like the Acrop Acropolis, I think I'm saying it correctly, or Delphi and Corinth and many others such as that. Um, if you get the chance to visit these places, you'll be able to learn about the Romans and view very, very interesting ruins and beautiful, beautiful architecture and sculpture that's out there. Athens also has a gorgeous coastal area. I'm not sure. I'm sure you've seen pictures of Athens. Uh, there are lots of beaches that have many attractions for those of you who love adventure sports. So windsurfing, according to me, is an adventure sport or paddle boarding. But if you're not into sports like that, um, or activities like that. There are lots of different restaurants that run across the coast or along the beaches, all right? So definitely an attraction for both locals and tourists around Athens. Culture, of course, is one of Greece's 
most major selling points, all right? So here's an opportunity for you to study and also just be, visit and be and live in a beautiful city like Athens. Now, BSBI is very proud to be able to offer an international study experience to students. So what happens is you can start your international education in Athens or in Greece and then choose to complete your education in Berlin. And I think that's such an amazing opportunity. I wish they had that when I was going to university, but we didn't have any of these kind of options. And so I just want to be uh, able to share this information with you and really get you excited to look at the prospects of what you can be doing in order to start your study with us. So what BSBI has done is that we have partnered with the in Independent Studies of Science and Technology, or IST as they're known, that's located in Athens. Now, IST has an ongoing and consistent commitment to excellence, and they provide a quality education to all its students. What they want to do is they want to inculcate an entrepreneurial ment mentality in all their students and kind of bring the world of business closer to all those who are studying there. So what they are attempting to do is that they have a lot of series of events, they have conferences, they have lectures, seminars, uh, company visits, business competitions. Every opportunity is given to a student in order to network in the particular field of interest that they have. I think that's kind of uh, amazing. It's it's not only theory knowledge that you're getting, theoretical knowledge that you're getting, but also to be able to put it into practice through these activities that I just said. They also have a very, very strong international student service support. So whether it is counseling, whether it's accommodation assistance, whether it's English prep that you need, career services, uh, of course, there's internet and there's a fantastic library that they have. They have athletic programs and also, like I said, the highlight is all these events that they continuously uh, offer and organize through IST. All right. Now, IST is now they've relocated to a new campus, which is in, actually in the heart of the city. And they have a state of the art infrastructure and facilities. I've haven't had the opportunity to go and visit, but I've seen beautiful, beautiful pictures of the campus. Definitely a great, great chance for you to go explore a beautiful city like Athens and also study on a fantastic campus. Now, um, the new location is in Kukaki. If you know Greece, uh, you might know these places, but apparently it is really ideal for those who are already living in Athens and also those who are international students. Now, Athens, uh, the campus on Athens provides or is offering three programs through BSBI and in partnership with BSBI. The first one is a BA in Economics and Business Administration. So if any of you are out there just finishing up high school and thinking what you need to do next and you're thinking of business, I think Economics and Business Administration is a great, great combination to have. Uh, I am a career counselor by profession, so I wouldn't be talking about this if I didn't believe in a program or in an opportunity that's so amazing such as this for you. And I definitely think you should think about it and see what you can do in order to start as soon as possible with us in one of our campuses all right so the BA economics uh, and uh, and business administration is a three-year program what it does is it uh, exposes students to a multidisciplinary range of subjects so that you can develop your knowledge in areas such as finance marketing human resources and so much more all those basic foundation that you need so that you can decide what you want to do for your masters and what field you want to go into and I think multidisciplinary is a great way to go because then you learn about all these different aspects of economics and business administration so that's the first one the second one is an MA in International Tourism, Hospitality, and Event Management. So what happens through this master's program is that you are then exposed or you start getting educated in essential concepts of management, including business strategy, operations management, and you also learn how to apply some of these concepts to tourism, to hospitality, to the events industry. But from my knowledge of a program such as this, you don't have to be restricted to just tourism, hospitality, and events. 
some of these theories that you learn, you can use it in real world application in any company that you join, any multinational. So it really gives you an idea and exposes you to all of these business concepts that are going to help you find jobs anywhere in these particular fields, all right? And the last one is the Global MBA. So throughout the Global MBA program, students are developing an understanding of essential management topics like marketing, finance, leadership, so important for all of us, I think, whether you believe you're a leader or not, in order to have an understanding of what kind of qualities or what it takes to be a good leader. There are lots of electives that are also available in the Global MBA program, and it's really, you can cater to your needs based on the trajectory of your career. So depending on what you want to do, you can pick your electives. Of course, there are some that are compulsory that you need to do, but I love that you're able to put a program together based on what your needs are. With regards to accommodation, so that's really about IST and the three programs that we offer. Uh, accommodation is about 250 euros per month, which is way, way cheaper than what you would probably pay if you went to Berlin for year one. So what we advise you is that you speak with our partner in Athens and they will be able to advise you and guide you through the process telling you what would be the best fit for you because accommodation is so important. It becomes your home for one year, doesn't it? So it's so important that you start to plan in advance and find a place that is suitable for you. So what we recommend our students to do is to actually set aside about 450 to about 700 euros a month. That's to cover all your living expenses, your transportation, your accommodation, your food, all of it comes into that, which I think is not bad at all. Um, and Athens is known to be a, a city that is very, very affordable. With regards to visas, if some of you are wondering, saying, oh my, the visa process from where I come from is going to take a long time. Don't worry about it. We are there in order to support uh, in terms of some of the letters that you might need. Uh, that you need to present to the embassy or maybe a checklist that you need based on the country that you're applying from. We can support you in all of those, get you ready, make sure your application is uh, you know, flawless without any mistakes, get you ready through the interview process, have a mock interview with you. So please get in touch with us and we're happy to help you. And I, like I said, I will be sharing my email address in a little bit so that you can write into me and say, hey, listen, I really want to go to Athens, but I have no idea how to apply for my visa. And you can be sure that we will help you through it. Now, just some of the benefits, just some, okay? A few of the benefits of studying in Athens, as we talked about just a few minutes ago, the living costs are much, much lower. So accommodation, transportation, especially if you find uh, an accommodation that's really close to the campus, which is very central and, um, you know, uh, easy to get to restaurants or maybe to uh, a train station. That's the kind of place that you ideally need to be looking for. And it is pretty much lower compared to the other places that you could possibly start your education in. This is a culturally exchange learning opportunity, a chance for you to study in two countries. So can you imagine how nice it looks on your CV that you started off in Athens and then you graduated and or maybe currently or decide to work in Berlin? It looks fantastic because that's the kind of experience that employers are also looking for, right? Because you learn a lot of 21st century skills by doing this and getting involved in an educational program like this. It also is an opportunity to explore Europe Many of us don't leave our home countries because we don't have the chance to go and see a great city like Athens. But here we're saying, why don't you start studying and you have the rest of the time to explore around Europe and enhance your learning experience. And for some of you, if getting to Berlin right now is challenging from the country that you're residing in, then here's a chance for you to start your education without having too many educational gaps in your CV. Again, from a career counselor perspective, I'm a little old school like that. I think it's not good to have too many educational gaps. So in order to start up on something, if you're looking for a master's program, you did your bachelor's like five, six years ago, and now you're thinking, I do want to enhance my knowledge or uh, you know, improve the skills that I already have. 
don't wait any longer because educational gaps in your CV don't look really good uh, when you go for a job interview. So take my word, I've worked with enough students to know that, all right? So get in touch with us. If you're already speaking to a program coordinator or a consultant, please speak to them, say, hey, I heard Sangeeta talking about Athens. I missed a lot of what she was saying, but can you give me more details? And they'll be more than happy to help you and send you all the information that you need. You can start as early as May, and that's what we're really looking forward to having you guys on our campus as early as May. So please, please get in touch with your program coordinator. If you're new to us and you've never heard of BSBI, then what I would recommend is you can write in to ask ASK at berlinsbi.com and I'll put it in the chat box as soon as I'm done. So whatever your need is and you're saying, okay, I'm not sure about Athens, but I want to know about Berlin, we're happy to support you in that way too. But just write into me. That's what I need for you to do, right? Just communicate so that I can establish a relationship or a rapport with you and then hand you over to my wonderful team who is more than happy to support you. So whatever you need, we're ready to support you. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this up. So I hope everyone understood. You start off in Athens for a year, do one year of any of those three programs that I talked to you about. Actually, there are special offers for some of those programs till 30th of April. So I definitely do want you to avail some of those discounts that are there please do get in touch with us. And then there's enough support on the IST campus to help you to change your visa into a residency permit in Athens. And then once you finish one year, we will help you with the visa process to Berlin. So that support is going to be ongoing. You don't need to worry or think that you're gonna be on your own once you get to Athens, all right? So please, please get in touch with us, talk to us, and we'd be more than happy to share that information with you. Before I start taking questions, I just want to do a real big shout out to actually an event that we're planning next week in Mumbai, uh, which is in India on the 8th of April. We're going to be there, some of us, BSBI representatives, the, our director uh, for sales, uh, for our head of sales. Um, there's going to be someone who's from the campus. There's lots of lots of people who are going to be there. Great opportunity for you to come and meet with us and uh, talk to us and find out what you, the possible opportunities are for you. So please come join us, spread the word. If you have friends in Mumbai, please let them know and tell them, hey, why don't you go? And for everyone who actually comes, we're offering a 300 euro discount. Uh, if you've registered with us already, you still can get the discount. And we also have amazing raffle draws, all right? So please do come. Of course, you'll get a goodie bag too, but I don't wanna, now I've said it. So if you would like a lovely goodie bag with some of our BSBI um, uh, merchandise, please, please come and we'd be happy to share that with you. Any kind of questions that you might have were there in front of you for the entire day on the 8th of April. There's lots of posters that's been put on our Facebook page, on Insta, so follow us, come join us, and it would be actually nice to meet you in person. We don't need to do this through FB Live. I can actually stand and have a conversation with you. So I'm gonna be there too. So please, please do come and join us in Mumbai on the 8th of April, all right? Okay. So I'm just gonna see if there are any questions that you would like me to take. Buzzy or anyone else, if there are questions that you have for me, um, I, I am happy, happy to take those questions. Uh, Josue or Josue, if you have any questions for me or anyone else who's out there, um, I would be happy to take some of those questions. I'm just going to, hi uh, Ali, I'm gonna call you Ali. All right, you ask me a question, I will take it. Just let me put my email uh, down here so that if any of you need it, you please go ahead and write in to me. Is it necessary to have a block bank account in Germany or any bank statement? Answer me, please. Yes, I'm going to answer you. Um, yes, you need one for Berlin. You do need a block bank account, but uh, you need to show that even before you go for your visa. But if you start in Paris or in Athens, you don't need a block bank account in your first year, okay? So, I hope I answered your question, Ali. It's a yes or no question, so yes, you need a block bank account for Germany. All right, anyone else? 
with a question you have for me. Uh, Josue, you said you have a question for me. Or Josue, I, I, I hope I'm not killing your name. Seriously, I really do. Um, okay, so what are the programs I can study in Athens? All right, so let me just answer that for you. There's a bachelor's, there's a BA in economics and business administration. There's an MA in international tourism, hospitality and event management. And last one is a global MBA. All right. Um, if I can't get my visa for Berlin, can I transfer to Athens if visa application is easy? Yes, we can absolutely do that. It also depends on um, which which partner or which university you're going to be studying with and if they're going to be offering the program that you're looking at. So there are some conditions that apply for that to happen. But yes, there is a possibility of you definitely if you've initially applied for Berlin and now you're saying, oh, I'm not sure if I want to go, but I want to go to Athens, you most definitely can and we can help you. So just write in to me um, and then we can we can definitely help you through that. OK. Um, Hmm. Okay, do I? Okay, I've already taken Ali's question. Does BSBI provide support accommodation for international students? We actually do have an accommodations team that is more than happy to help you. Uh, but you need to start early because a lot of students now after the pandemic are returning back to Berlin. And so places are getting filled really, really quickly. So depending on the intake that you are deciding to join, whoever asked that question, I would say at least three to four months in between or, the, or earlier before the intake that you're deciding to join, you need to get in touch with our accommodations team and they will tell you the different options that there are. So whether you're looking at May, whether you're looking at October, next Jan, whatever it might be, uh, the earlier you do it and you know what I think it looks good when you go for your visa and you tell them that you've already found an accommodation it kind of makes it more authentic that you're actually going to go and study in a place like BSBI okay because they're super strict sometimes with the interview process so the more information and proof you have that you're going to be a student in Berlin the easier it will be for you to get your visa so definitely do get in touch with our accommodations team um, I'm not sure that I can get you the email address for the accommodations team just write in to me whoever asked that question um, to ask at berlinsbi.com and I will be I will send you the email address that you need okay all right who's asking me somebody said can you specify the costs right okay yes I can specify the costs so the BA in economics and business administration is 6,500 euros per year the MA in international tourism and hospitality is 7,000 euros but I know that there's a special offer till the 30th of April and the global MBA is 8,000 euros and this also has a special offer till the 30th of April. So do get in touch with us if you need more details about this. Talk to a program uh, coordinator, coordinator or consultant and they will share the information and see what best they can do to support you. All right. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, the undergraduate program looks really, really good. I think that's the more you do in your undergraduate, in your bachelor's. So you're, normally universities will only give you either business or economics, but here's a chance for you to do the economics and business together, and I think that's fantastic. So the more skills you have, the more equipped you are to go out there and get yourself a really, really good job. And that's what you need to see, the kind of exposure that you're going to get. So imagine you get economics, you get business administration, you do one year in Athens, you do two years in Berlin. Look at your CV. You've already built your CV through the three years that you're, that you're going to be doing your undergraduation. Okay? So definitely take it into consideration. Um, which year can I transfer to Berlin if I start in Athens? Ideally after year one is when because you know you'll you need to be in one city at least for a year especially if you're moving
from your hometown for the first time so we want you to do one year in Athens and then you can decide uh, to move to Berlin after the year one and it gives you a little bit more time to get your block bank account together um, just helps with the transition to Berlin to be a little bit more smoother all right uh, Ali after getting an offer letter any tests going to be taken by students or not no it's all done before and most of the tests that you need to do is the English proficiency test that we want you to do but if you've already got an offer letter then there are no tests that you will need to do okay all right um, any other questions I'm here for a few more minutes so I'm happy to take it or any comments Three of you have asked some really, really good questions today. So thank you for that. Okay, I'm just going to scroll and see and just make sure that I haven't missed anything. So what is the fee for deposit? So ideally, you need to be paying half your fee, your total tuition fees, before you go for your visa. And then once you get your visa, you need to be paying the other half, all right? But then we can work around and we can, I, what I would recommend is talk to your program consultant. Now, why I'm saying that is because you probably need to show proof at the embassy that you've at least paid half of your tuition fee. All right, so pay half of the tuition fee uh, for year one for those who are in bachelors or for the others in masters and the MBA, you're gonna have to pay half of the total fees. And then once you get your visa, you need to pay the other half. What are the terms of payment about economics, business administration? You can pay it in installment. So yeah, for the bachelor's program, you're only paying for year one. So remember I told you it's about 6,000 euros, right? Is that what I said? 6,500 so you pay half of the 6,500 before your visa you get your visa you pay the other half of the 6,500 and the rest can be put in installments that's right yeah uh, so is there a possibility for new programs maybe existing absolutely Camille hi Camille by the way I didn't see your name till now um, it could be this is a fairly new partnership that we've started and so we're just trying to gauge the interest of students to go to a city like Athens and start their education but 100% there is definitely lots of scope and opportunity for some of those existing programs that are already in our Berlin campus to then be transferred to either Paris or Athens so yes can study costs be paid in installments and can I work after studying? Uh, so that's the one that I'm talking about. Your tuition fees can be put into installments based on what program you're looking at. Not for every program, especially if it's like a global MBA or a master's, it may be hard to put into an installment. Um, but that's something I can definitely find out only because why I'm saying it is because you need to show your proof at the embassy that you've paid all of it. Uh, can I work after studying? You can't work in Greece, but you most definitely can go move to Berlin, right? And you can um, work in Berlin after you finish studying uh, in Athens. So that's another possibility a lot of students look at and like. So they complete like their master's or their global MBA in Athens, and then they, are, they move to Berlin, and then they're still eligible for the 18-month work visa. So that's something that you can look at. You're welcome, Camille. Great questions. I am loving these questions. So let me buzzy, let me uh, find out about the installments and get back to you, right? What program are you looking at, buzzy? If you can let me know. And if you're okay to put your email address down in the chat box or write into, why don't you write in so that it's not out for the entire world to get your email? Why don't you write into me at ask at Berlin SBI? Um, 
so that I have your email address, I know what question you asked, and I 100% will get back to you. Okay? Just let me know what program you're looking at. Camille, what program are you looking at? Just for me to be, I'm just curious, because I know that uh, Josue is looking at the bachelor's program. I'm waiting for you guys to answer my question. And Ali, what what program are you looking at? Okay, I've put my email address down, um, and I'm going to put it again, just so that you don't miss it. Okay, any other questions? I'll wait for one or two more minutes and then I'll let you guys go. Okay, so it looks like all our questions are done. If you think of anything as soon as we're done with this live session and you're like, I should have asked her that question. Don't worry. I've put my email address down again. Um, or you can write into us on Facebook or Instagram, and someone will definitely, definitely get back to you. All right, Buzzy. Yes, just get in touch with me on Ask It Berlin SBI. It comes directly into my mailbox. So I will check it and get back to you soon. Okay? All right. Thank you, Buzzy and uh, Camille and Josue and Ali. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, I really, really hope that you will decide to join us either for the May intake or the October intake. We just want to see you on one of our campuses. And if you want any more information about what I talked today, please feel free to write into me and I will be happy to put you on to someone who can clearly explain everything to you so that you have complete clarity before you start with us. All right. So thank you so much. This is Sangeeta again. I'm going to sign off now, but I hope that you will join us for more of our webinars, our Facebook Live sessions. I'm sure we're going to be doing much more exciting things and starting new series. But if you are around India somewhere um, or living in Bombay or Mumbai, as they call it, um, or you're around, I'm giving you one week's notice. So come visit with us. We would be so, so thrilled to see you and have a chat with you and see how best we can support you. So thank you again, and I hope to see you all guys soon, either on a Facebook Live or a webinar or in person. All right, take care, have a great, great day, all the best, and see you soon. Bye-bye.